What is up guys, Digital Player HD here, and I'm back again with another Tom Hawks GD5 online video. And in today's video, it's just going to be another Tom of the week. But in this episode, it's going to be a bit different, because I'm going to be doing an all type theme. So, it's going to be like all military, and then the next episode will probably be like apocalyptic or rubber. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, we much appreciate it if you could drop a like and a comment. So moving on to the first outfit. Alright guys, for the first outfit, this outfit is going to be called Spec Ops and the overall look of the outfit is going to look like this. So if you want to know how to get the glitched helmet and mask, there will be a link to a video that I've done with all different uh, variants of glitches that you could do on Xbox One and 360 and PS4 and PS3 obviously. So to make this outfit, first off you want to head over at Tops. Once you're at tops, you want to go down to sweaters and you want to purchase the black combat sweater. Once you have that, if you want to back out, head over to pants. Go down to team pants and you want to purchase the black combat pants you see I'm wearing. Just use the normal boots that come with the pants. Then you want to back out of that. Head over to accessories. Once you have accessories, you want to go into gloves and you want to put the black tactical gloves you see I'm wearing. You also want to bow that, go into your scarf to purchase the black scarf. Then head out of that, go into your inventory accessories. And you obviously want to do the glitch as you see. Black helmet with the night vision as gear. Then you want to head out of that, put on the black parachute and black body armor. And for some reason my parachute just changed, I have no clue why I just done that. We change it back. There we go. But as you see this is a Quite a cool outfit if you're like into doing the heists and you're doing the humane's lab which is quite sticky. So this is a really easy outfit and then nice, I like it. It adds like sneakiness to the outfit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and also you can obviously use the night vision, but it's because it's not just for looks. Let's so move on to the second outfit. Alright well, guys, not to the second outfit, this outfit is called the Insurgent, not just like the USSR. So this is what it's going to look like on the overall this outfit. First off, you want to head over to Pants. Once you have Pants, you want to go out with cargo shorts. Not cargo shorts, sorry, yeah, cargo pants. And purchase the fire cargo pants, you see I'm wearing. Then you want to back of that, go into Tops. Then head down to Sweaters and purchase the charcoal combat sweater then you want to battle that head over to shoes once you're at shoes you want to go on boots and you want to purchase the black flight boots you see I'm wearing then once you have them equipped you want to head out of that and head over to accessories once that accessories go down to gloves purchase the black woolen gloves then you want to Head out of that, go into scarf to purchase the black scarf you see I'm wearing. Then head out of that. I'm also wearing the balaclava and the black helmet, so obviously the link is there. Link to the video about the glitches is in the description. So you want to go into your inventory, put on standard body armor. You also want to put on the black parachute you see I'm wearing. So if you want to like being a bad guy in a roleplay or if you're doing a machinima of that sort you can wear this outfit, it's a really cool outfit if you like killing people I don't know why, just running around with this on seems pretty cool also if you like flying the Savage that is a Russian helicopter so this is a really simple outfit, really casual so moving on to the third outfit Right guys, on to the third outfit, and this outfit is called the Recon, or you can call it a Captain Price because it was based off that character from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, this is sort of like a foresty combat, so if you want to like hang around the military base and uh, go through the swamps area. So you know the drill by now, you want to head over to pants or tops. Once you are there, you want to go down to cargo pants and purchase the olive cargo pants. Once you have them purchased, you want to head out, go over to Tops, go all the way down to Sweaters to purchase the black combat sweater. Now you want to head over to Shoes. 
Once you are shoes, so I'm going to do boots. I'm going to purchase the black scruffy boots because obviously you're in like a forest area or like a swamp area, so it's obviously going to be dirty. Just to add a bit more depth to the outfit. Now you want to do head over to accessories. Once you add accessories, go down to scarves, purchase the black scarf, and you want to head out of that, go into gloves, purchase the black fingerless gloves. Now you want to head out of that, go over to hats. So you do not use the glitch for this, so you can just simply put on a hat. So you want to get the green canvas hat, see I'm wearing. Once you have that, you want to back out. Go into your inventory, put on the black standard body armor, and you also want to put on the black parachute. Once you have this all on, this outfit is pretty much done now. So this is based off carbon price, but it could just be called recon. So this is not a, not an expensive outfit, but it's really cool if you like one warfare and you want to recreate them in a GD5. So moving on to the 4th outfit. Right guys, on to the 4th outfit. And this outfit is called the Jungle Combat. This is another cool outfit if you are into the military theme and like chilling out around Zang uh, Fort Saikudo. So, to make this outfit you want to head over to Tops firstly. Once you are at Tops you want to go down to Shirts and purchase the Ash Tucked. Once you have that, you want to head out, go over to pants, go all the way down to T pants and purchase the forest combat pants you see I'm wearing. You can have any boots on, it's entirely up to your preference. So once you have that, you want to head over to accessories. You want to go out with scarves and purchase the black scarf. Also, I am wearing the ski mask with the forest combat helmet. So now you want to go into your inventory, put on black body armor, and you want to have the forest combat shoot on. So this outfit is another really casual outfit. It's really cool if you're into the military theme and like role playing with friends or just want to chill in the insurgent and go and kill some people. So moving on to the final outfit, hope you guys have been enjoying these outfits so far. Right guys, for the final outfit, this outfit isn't really military themed, but it's like tactical themed. This is the riot police. So if you want to know how to get the gas mask with the helmet, obviously link is in the description. Be much appreciate if you drop a like on that video as well. So to make this outfit, first off, you're wanting to have the cop outfit. As you see that I have on as a shirt. And once you have that outfit, you want to head over to pants. Go down to cargo pants and you want to purchase the black cargo pants that I'm wearing. Now you want to back out of that. Then head over to boots. Once you have boots, you want to purchase the black tactical boots. Then you want to head out of that. Go into your inventory and put on the black body armor. So the reason why I've used the cop outfit uh, is because the belt, as you see, it looks much better on this outfit. And it's got a little radio on it. The only problem is obviously the blue shirt. It looks a bit dodgy with this. But I really like this outfit, especially if you like cops and you just want to go around killing people for no particular reason. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, it would be much, 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 much appreciated if you could drop a like, call out some feedback of what you thought of the outfits, and also don't forget to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, check out my website, so hope you guys had an awesome day, see you later, peace.